All right, shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kakadash. That's all praises to the world, cause God, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the only begotten Son. Also, want to say, uh, say the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the whole for life, preaching his word and truth and sincerity. I'm a brother Tasha Bond in Great Millstone, Arizona Camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. And uh, we're going to get into it, man. The Lord is starting to require souls, right? And this wicked, evil time, now the Lord's starting to get on people. It says uh, over 20,000 dead from Turkey, Syria, earthquakes, right? And they're saying the odds of finding more survivors are dwindling, dwindling with the passage of time and, old, and cold temperatures. Right, it says more than twenty thousand people have lost their lives, and almost eighty thousand people have been injured. Ooh, have been injured from the series of catastrophic earthquakes that struck southern Turkey and northern Syria beginning on Monday, according to the latest uh, official figures. Meanwhile, tens of thousands have been left without homes in a winter cold. Right, so they're not even counting the casualties based off of people being trapped outside in the cold. Right? You got to imagine, man. They might say 20,000 here. And I, and I said it in a lesson, me and the brothers did uh, yesterday. And I said it in a lesson. I said, Esau, uh, the, the, the death toll has to be way greater than this. Because Esau... Knows that if he sits there and tells him day one, 45,000 people died. There's going to be a panic. People are going to be concerned. People are going to like be walking out of their building saying, you need to have this building checked. See if it's up, up to code so that these buildings don't collapse like this. It's gonna, it, hey, it would be all out hell on the streets. It's Esau who just really... Fuck you. Release the real numbers. The numbers that this devil only, the numbers that this devil releases is only uh, according to how much he's unable to hide. Right. So this thing, in my, you know, in my mind, speaking as a man, the initial death toll that they they know of is far greater than twenty thousand. But this is they're revealing as much as they can based off of what they cannot hide. Right. So. Like this 20,000 could be far greater, bro. Far greater. Right? Because this is a big earthquake, man. This is almost 8.0. That's a hell of an earthquake, man. It says, um, on Thursday evening, the Turkish Health Ministry updated the death toll to 17,406 with 71,866 people. Uh... With documented injuries uh, from the earthquake, Syrian authorities put the number of the dead at 1,347, while the Western-backed uh, rebels claimed almost 1,800 more in the territories under under their control, right? And they're not really dealing with uh, Syria like that because Syria is not part of the bloc. So they're really, they're, hey, Syria's been catching hell for a while now. They ain't been reporting the deaths over in Syria, right? Because they don't really care about them. The reason why they're reporting everything on Turkey is because those are the ones that, uh, that, that are Edomites that they actually care about, right? So niggas are dying out there. The Lord is doing his work, and it's beautiful, right? And this is all prophesied in the scriptures, and this is how we know we real close, man. I'm, I'm going to get Matthew's 24 first, and then we'll start, you know, chopping this thing down, man. Matthew's 24. Yeah, I'm going to get right to the point. And 6. Uh, I'll get right to the point. Verse 7, it says, For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, and diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. This is just the beginning. It says, this is just the tip of the iceberg, right? Just the tip, man. There's a whole other side, man. The look, it's, it's only going to increase, right? This is one major earthquake. Wait till it happens in California, right? When the big one hits, when the fault lines split, 
right? When the freeway is 50 feet over what it used to be. Hey, wait till those days happen, man, because it's, it's prophesied in Scripture. These things will be in diverse places. All, right? All type of natural disasters are going to happen. All right? Everything. And it's all going to be the hand of the Lord, man. The Lord is going to shake his hand over Babylon like he did in the old world, man. This is um, Isaiah 29 and 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh host with thunder and with earthquake in great noise with storm and tempest and a flame of devouring fire. And wait till summer hit. We're going to see all type of wildfires kick off. Right? Summer's around the corner, man. We're about to be in the Passover. So that's spring right there. Summer's about to be right around the corner. Imagine the, 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 the type of wildfires that are going to be kicking off everywhere. The type of upheaval that's going to be everywhere, man. Right? Summer used to be the time, the time of fun, man. This, hey, this summer might be the time of hell. Right, but this world's getting visited because you can see the Lord shaking up of the world, man. Right, this is um, uh, uh, Sirach 40, and nine, it says, um. I start, I start at 8. It says, Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Death and bloodshed, strife and the sword, calamities, right? Calamities. Now let's get that word, calamities, man. We'll get it in the etymology. The word for calamity, right? It says damage, state of adversity. It says a great misfortune or cause of misery, right? Damage, loss, failure, disaster, misfortune, adversity, right? That's what a calamity is, a great misfortune, a great a uh, 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 a cause of misery. Don't you think it's a cause of misery that you know a man might have left his house to go get a bottle of milk, and as soon as he left, the earth started quaking, and a whole building come down with his kids in it, wife, everything, and it's all gone. He knows he can't get it back. Right? They was on the first floor. Right? There's a whole bunch of building on top of him. He know that he ain't gonna get that back. Right, there is one where where uh, a, a a woman <laughs> a woman died giving birth, and the father was able to get the kid. Well, don't you think that man is is broken up? There's women that had to see that that knew that their kids died in those buildings. Don't you think that's a great misery? This is a it, this is the. Shaking in the hand of the Lord, right? It says death and bloodshed, verse 9. Strife and in in sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood, right? So how many of people, uh, these people are actually repenting, man? Because we, we know according to the scriptures, right, that... It's going to be a, a small number that actually repents and comes to the Lord, man. Right? In comparison to the many people that go astray and that go on in their wickedness. Right? And we're in a time now where the word is going out. And, and look, the times are even getting worse. So we know, we know damn well that people, these people ain't repenting. Right? This is uh, Psalms 130. In three, it says, it says, um, I'll start too. It says, Yahweh, hear my voice. Let thine ear be attentive 
to the voice of my supplication. And this is what brothers pray to the Lord for. Baba Gashai, Yapa Shema, Shai, hear my prayers, forgive my sins. Right? But peep this, it says, if thou, Yahweh, shouldest mark iniquities, right? Who shall, uh, oh, Yahweh, who shall stand? In other words, obviously marking iniquities, because that's 20,000 uh, people that ain't standing. 80,000 80, people with injuries, right? Severe injuries. Imagine the PTSD, right? Every time a door, a door slams out there, right? And it sounds like a boom. Right? People, people, people's minds are in hell, right? This is Job 20, it's 21. Yeah, 21. And 17 it says, um, How oft is the candle of the wicked put out? And how oft come their destruction upon them? The Most High distributed sorrows in his angers, in his anger. And the Lord is distributing sorrows in his anger, man. Why do you think these things are going out? Why do you think there's more mass shootings? Why do you think all these all these accounts and, and videos and news articles are coming up with these women getting beat and killed? There was just another uh, another uh, young man, young young fella, uh, shot his his uh, his uh, ex woman in the head because she broke up with him. Why do you think the Lord is doing these things? All right? Because he's angry, man. Here it is. He put the prophets on the earth, told people to repent, right? And shit's getting even worse. You just had that 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 uh, that nigga uh, Sam Smith, the singer, right? Go on national TV during the Grammys. Uh, basically like a damn Baphomet statue. I think he had breast on that shit and breast and everything. He's trying to so-called uh, transition. Dressed up like a devil and, and, and bro, weirdness, madness going on everywhere. They they're sitting here making it so a satanic temple can commit uh could carry out abortions uh within doing a ritual. What do you think that ritual is gonna be? Right? And people choosing this way over over the Lord's way. Don't you think the Lord's mad? This is his creation, and his creation is acting awry. So what, now we're in the time now where the Lord is just going to start snatching souls, man. It's just, it's only right. It's only right. Niggas need their souls snatched. You look out in the world, you see it, and you know, okay, it only makes sense. The Lord got it. The Lord got to fuck these people up. He has to. There's no other, there's no other alternative anymore. These people don't repent. They don't care about the Lord. They do whatever they want. It just has to happen at this point. So what the Lord's distributing those sorrows and his anger, right? Dishing them out. Say, you get some misery. You get some misery. The Lord, the Lord is doing Oprah Winfrey with 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 misery, man. Right? Everybody wanted the tickets to the show to the to to sin and, and do wickedness. Well, those tickets come with a with a you know a, an unsuspected show. Which is going to be your worst fear is coming upon you, man. It's Isaiah 42 and 14. It says, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrain myself. Right? That's what the Lord said. The Lord said he long time held his peace and was still and refrained himself. Right? But within the Lord, giving people opportunity and space. Right? The elders and apostles. They've been preaching for like 34, 35 plus years. Right? And then there were teachers before them. And look how much worse the time has gotten as, as, as things went on, man. Women are loose as hell. Men don't want to be men anymore. Right? The men that are being men, people sit here and try to put them under the grave. Right? It's, it's getting out of hand. You got. You got Decepticons in the form of, uh, of men trying to transition into women, right? 
the definition of man and woman has been uh, misconstrued. When the Lord said, he, uh, he said, man and women, woman created he them. The Lord didn't create no trans. It's Esau fucking creation. Women doing, getting BBLs, breast implants, everything under the fucking sun. And now you got men getting, uh, getting weaves. Everything's out of order, right? And the Lord, the Lord made his creation beautiful, man. The fact that these women have been put in a mindset to think that they need fucking makeup to, to be beautiful. Hey, man, that's, that's wild as hell in itself, man. That's, that's, hey, that's, that's a whole vain mindset that's been pushed. And, and, and these things, the Lord looks down on this and gets mad. Here it is. You got people that are fucking comedians with more acclaim and people listen to them more than they would listen to the prophets. The scriptures tell you the Lord saw that men of wisdom were, uh, were sat by, right? And he was angry. Let me, let me find that, man. says um yeah here it is this is Sirach 26 and 28 it says there be two things that grieve my heart and a third maketh me angry a man of war that suffered in poverty so these these veterans that come back out of the military and somehow they're sitting there put on the street. They don't even have enough to eat. Right? They got to beg people for money. And, and they lost legs and limbs. Got all type of fucking mental problems and everything. And, and they can't even get the help they need. They got to fight for disability. Hey, the Lord looks down on that. And he's pissed. It says, and men of understanding that are set by. Right? How come you got fucking funny niggas, rappers, a bunch of entertainers. Right, somehow have a bigger voice and, and, and more respect in this world than a brother that goes out, does a nine and five, does the work of the Lord, shows fear towards the Lord. The Lord looks at that and he's like, Yo, I'm, the Lord pissed as hell, and righteously so, man. I'll be looking at it and I'll be like, Yo, how the how, how the F does uh, all these little Comedians, everything have all this fucking acclaim, right? How the hell does Ke this Kevin Hart, off of telling a joke, able to live better than a brother that's busting his ass at a job, right? And doing the work of the Lord. H how is it that that's, that 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 these people that don't even take their own fucking life serious? can live so good and people listen to them but the men that actually give a fuck about the nation don't have that type of respect see the lord looks like that that as well and he's angry man so the lord's distributing those sorrows in his anger man go uh, let me go back to uh, um where is that isaiah 42 yeah here it is isaiah 42 and 14 i have a long time holding my peace i've been still and refrain myself. I, now will I cry like a woman, like like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. And that's what they. For one quake, they're reporting twenty thousand people dead, eighty thousand injured. That's the Lord destroying and devouring at once. Right? It says I will make waste mountains and hills, and dry up all the herbs. I will make the rivers islands. And I will dry up the pools, man. And the Lord is going to perfect, perfect that devouring at once when these missiles get shot off. But this is just the beginning, man. This is the beginning of sorrows. I expect shit to get worse. Right? Expect a whole nother pandemic, a whole nother issue. And hey, hey, this, maybe this time the Lord is going to start ripping people's hearts out of them quicker. Right? This is Psalms 119. Psalms 119 and 126 says, it is 
it is time for thee, O, it is time for thee, Yahweh, to work, for they have made war their law. You see? And now the Lord's doing his work, man. Right? Because this whole world is made void. The law, statutes, and commandments. Even, even, even just the law, law of nature. Right? Nobody want to be real men anymore. That, that, that's fought against. No woman wants to just be a woman. A woman want to be a man. Be a harlot. And be celebrated for being harlots. Niggas want to be scammers, and they, they're able to go on a t uh, on fucking podcast and talk about it, man. I saw one. I was watching uh, the other Rekai Kwam's video, uh, and and he was covering his video where this dude who was a rapper is eight, went on his podcast and said he loved armed robbery. How come this nigga's being given a platform to say he loved armed robbery? Right. This is obviously the time for the Lord to do his work, man. Shalom.